Welcome back, everybody, to the second to last part of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Case 3, or Episode 3. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. <laughs> Mia, you're back! I'm not sure probably not gonna eat all these. Let's put them all back and I'll catch them later. Mia! So what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea of who did it. So I have all I need the motive and proof. Oh, good going, Nick. The initial trial for the film tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the news court system they introdu introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases on the system, they decided to speed up the whole process. Well, under that system, trials have to end in three days. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. Sup, old bag? The old bag sure is quiet today. Yo, you know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, take our guards down. Yeah, I bet we could eat those donuts if we wanted. You eat, you die. Oh, she's alive. I think she's kind of now at peace. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the top steel samurai costume. <laughs> He left for here to go to studio two. Right, but why? I wonder if someone called him like the producer or director. Hey Nick, it's Miss Zaquiz. Hello. Hello. Hi. I mean H E L L O. Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's what she has to say, apparently. There's some flowers here. No so pretty. Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer. Perhaps you can hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. I'll do something that she's really pissing me off over oh here. Oh, Mr. Power wasn't the killer. We're gonna have to cancel the steel samurai. Let's take a part of the steel samurai. She, she did it? Nick, she did it. She's the killer. My fey blood sp uh, speaks to me. I know. I know. Oh, dear. Uh, I was wondering if you would talk to me about. If you must talk to that man, perhaps you could talk about it in your favor by yourself. Ugh, you're such an annoyance. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up here yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she's still on a high from getting that card. Nothing new. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them film just once. This trial will be over and no one tomorrow. You can come see, come see them film later, I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if there are any clues on them. No, 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 touch him. Eek! Calm down, Gumshoe. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Seems like it could be a little dramatic. I mean, dramatic at times. I don't know. 
I suppose it's the the actor. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to ex examine the fruit on the table. Here's what I was actually doing anyway. This guy was really tired of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed the paper cups with hot, hot coffee in it. Oh, talk about burns. Wow, the fury of Edgar. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Paper bottles? Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of the saving pills? Well, I got some news for you about that. They found the victim's jack hammered prints on the bottle. So that means. Yep, it sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim, so that's right. In the dressing room, like this, or kind of hanging out there, pretty much the powers will be back soon. He'll be fine. Yeah. The investigation. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. Some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Andrew? Well, hell, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I'd buy the case against Powers anymore. I kind of feel bad for Edward, though. So you're looking for Trace on uh, sleep on the. For a thorough ex examination, I gotta take the place back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills. See, if there's traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? No, no, everything is in due time, pal. Oh, testing solution on the plate change color, all right. So the, f the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we can't go to Studio One anymore. Are you showing that to me, Nick? I'm sorry. You suck. I guess I can talk to him about it, the uh, Will, and ask him what why he would think. Um, I was wondering about the best please the producer. Oh, the studio big ones love her, so she's always, so she always gets her way. Seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal, he's soft, a pushover, does whatever Vince Cleats tells him to do. He treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Oh, why would anyone like to be treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no, no, it doesn't, Mayo. I'm just gonna hammer. Ugh. I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it, calling him a criminal thief. I, I won't forget this. Oh no, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak by me? He would, he would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Wait. Think? I'm not in the mood for thinking. Thank you very much. That's all right. You did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Uh, could you not look like you're about to burst down tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really woed him in there. Hey, could you wipe that grin off your face? 
Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. Though, there's not really anything I can do to help. Haha, <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do. Please. Excuse me, thank you for showing me that. I guess I could talk. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? Then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model whenever I started getting into business. He just stopped taking on big roles. But when he began appearing as a little production at Global... How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel in Samurai Summer. Gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when events proved it. Oh, five years ago. You tell me about her? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she became on board, we had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but when she picked it up and made it shine... Oh, and... and what? Nothing, forget it. I've only heard rumors. Salmonella? I want to read through all that again. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. Something that's worth caught in the squeeze eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Not everyone knows who knows the name Salmonella. I heard he's pretty much at her beck and call though. Whenever she said jump, he asked how high and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call too. I can't imagine him jumping. I mean, though I can't imagine him. Any ideas? Well, you, have you noticed anything in my headbook? I can't see what's going on with May is here. So, no, I haven't noticed anything in her eyes. Maybe we should go talk to WP? Maybe. Yes, did. Okay. I mean, I just talked to him, so I don't think there's much else to talk to. Can't believe you missed it. <laughs> it must be tough being a detective with all that responsibility. Oh, <laughs> bless. Looks like William Towers had less drugs. I'm going to go back to the predict to do some details. You're being very free with your information today, detective. I was not going to tell anyone this, pal. But I was kind of impressed at today's crowd, too. Most lawyers would have given up after that director's testimony. I think if it'd be up, it'd been anyone but you up there, Powers would definitely be done for. Aw, thanks, Gumshoe. But I like Gumshoe. At least he ain't like a, always a jerk. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so. What? Why? WP's is innocent. Yeah, and I'm really grateful for all of you've done. But this week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No! I was wondering if I could t ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh, I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Samurai costume, too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, Mr. Tweet, that producer had some kind of hold on Hammer. He had some dirt on him. He'd do anything, she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt, you know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they started filming a movie starring him, Mr. Hammer. Then he went, then he, uh, they were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. 
Okay, look, look the film set the way it was too. And that, that was trailer part of the film then? We I mean it's a lot of sympathy. I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it. Uh and now whoever really did kill Hammer also signed the steel samurai's death warrant. Oh no. Also I heard that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. And next did five years ago. Yeah, the studio too. That trailer there was part of the film set. Could you tell us what happened? Sorry, I don't think I can. The really don't want to talk about it. Why are you they're gonna make kids show anymore? They don't like I don't want to use the steel samurai anymore. They want to forget all of this ever happened. They want it quiet too, you understand? How can you just do that? What about all the kids that, who love Steel Samurai? Okay, I'm sure kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, they can't, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah, I think evidence rather... Uh, I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Yeah, this is a fan collection of all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show couldn't be canceled just so some adults can save face. I would be. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. <laughs> what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on fighting. Tell me about the incident five years ago. Okay. Can you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago someone died and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the, pro uh, the producer, Mr. Van Cleave, managed to hush it up. They called it, and that's the dirt had on Hammer. That's why Hammer wouldn't do anything but just keep that. But it was an accident, it was on accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a good star back then. And they were afraid about what happened to his career before he got out. I see. You know who's more, uh, you know, the Marvel this one's old bag. She was here at the studio back then, you know? Thanks, we'll start asking you for a talk. What, you're still soaking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take it over for me? The old one bag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darnest to forget Hammer. Why do they think made, uh, who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer, so I'll do the Hammer. Starting to fall at the mountain, Nick. Here, would you keep our distance safe? Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Who told you? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, Nicholas? Nichols. Nicholas, Nick. Penny Nicholas. That's the thing we talked to. Oh, right? Anyway, we heard about the incident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? What? With were snappers dreading up dirt on someone's path like that? And the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. No! I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. You claim that Hammer stole power closer, and you expect me to believe that, really? We have some kind of proof. proof. I have proof. What? What's the little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills from Mr. Hammer. What does that prove? I, I'm sure Mr. Hammer has some sleeping pills. Makes look with nuts. Hmm, what's that supposed to prove? That means nothing to me. Nick, I'm gone. Hey, Nichols.
Oh. Okay. Dude, poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. This old bag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired. See? Tired of holding it all in. This old bag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an incident. A fatal incident. It was worse. A proper so you took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. I mean, stir. And guess who made it all better? Mrs. Queef. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. It was the be and that was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with in the studio. I see. You just have to understand, Cold Four Hammer never meant to harm anyone. It's old bag. Hold on a minute. You can take this photograph. Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on top of those stairs. He pushed the actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But how did you get there? It, it was a long time ago. I don't feel like talk, uh, much like talking about it. I understand. from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. Uh-huh. You've gotten strong, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it inside the trailer. I don't trust this. I want to get killed or something. Why did I have to bring it? Hmm, you can't. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk about it? Please... You were using that incident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer, weren't you? So you could control him. That's why he was doing kid shows for petty change. Son of a blackmail. Well, that's what it is, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an incident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down, uh, down from his rightful place of a star. Oh, I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer three or one tower of his own accord. But you were the one, but you were the cause. You pressured him into think it was just an accident. Excuse me? What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. You are all, I mean, how are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? No, no way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hmm, just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Well. Oh well, she was a big fan of Hammer, you see. She jumped on the reporters who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands. She did. Gave, it to, gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Ah, oh, hey, come on now. Of course, all the reporters would need is the negative. He would, he could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me now, boys. Uh, um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow? Oh, unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you ha want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should the Vigwees care all about that? Sure, you'll have plenty of time to think about that while where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, away away. No! Hold it right there. I heard everything, pal. The Vigwees, you're coming down to the predict with me right now. Not bad. 
Very well. Yeah, Gumshoe to the rescue! That's the title of this episode. I'll be looking forward to it. Thanks, Gumshoe! Thank you! You okay, Val? Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Captain Gumshoe, thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just do my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just I wanted to say that line <laughs> since I became a detective. Okay. I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other soon again. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. Because at the bottom, D the queen. That'll be next time on the finale of Case 3 of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Let's freaking go, Gumshoe to the rescue!